Goodfellows is an extract from the autumn newsletter of Care for the Family. It's written by its founder, Rob Parsons. I was 15, about to drop out of school, assuming I could get away with it, and I had just about given up on church, and for good reason. In my school report, my form teacher had written, he's making no use of what little ability he has. And I decided that the little church on the corner of my street where I'd gone to Sunday school was just too boring for someone whose main ambition in life was to be a rock star. One day as I was walking down the street, an older man I knew from church came up to me. His name was Arthur Tovey. Arthur and his wife Margaret were poor. They lived in two rooms in his mother's house. They'd been told they couldn't have children of their own and Arthur didn't have an educational qualification to his name. But this couple loved kids and that day Arthur said, Robert, next Wednesday, Margaret and I are starting a Bible study in our home for teens. Would you like to come? Well, when all you want to do is walk out on stage in Las Vegas and have girls scream at you, a Bible study on a Wednesday night isn't the most attractive of offers. But for some reason I said yes. And so it began. Six of us gathering every Wednesday night in one of Arthur and Margaret's two rooms. We sat cramped together and listened as Arthur talked about God, faith and living a life of purpose. He knew we might get bored quickly. So he made a makeshift table tennis table. The room was tiny. We played with the bats up against our chests. If the ball went under the table, it took a feat of engineering to get it out. And every week he took us to buy fish and chips. By the time we got back to the house, laden with cod and fries, Margaret had the tea brewing. When I walked into their home, they made me feel like a king. The memory of that will stay with me forever. They told all of us that we mattered, that we were special and that God had given gifts to each one of us. One day, Arthur asked me whether I ever took part in debates at school. I told him I didn't even put my hand up in class. This didn't seem to daunt him. He said, I think God has given you the gift of public speaking and I'm going to help you develop it. That was not an encouraging prospect, not least because Arthur was one of the worst public speakers you've ever heard in your life. But Arthur saw something in me that he believed would be useful to others. He taught me to give talks to children at, at church and then later to adults. Gradually my confidence grew. One night at an event I was speaking at, a lawyer stood at the back listening. And at the end of the evening, he offered me a job that included funding me through law school. I went home and told my dad the news. He said, people like us don't become lawyers, but I did. I've often wondered how different my life would have been without that encounter on the street with Arthur. Subsequently, I was joint senior partner of a legal practice and then helped start a legal consultancy. I found myself giving talks to lawyers in locations such as the Hilton on Park Lane in London. I still think that hotel is pretty fancy, but to a young man who'd never lived in a house with an inside toilet, it was unbelievably grand. Some years later, the Law Society asked me to be a keynote speaker at their annual conference in Vienna. Just before I went on stage, I rang Arthur. I said, I'm about to speak to a thousand lawyers. You taught me to do that. He said, did I? Years later, I was being interviewed on the radio in the USA about one of my books. And as a surprise, the producers got Arthur on the telephone from his home in Cardiff. The presenter asked him, what do you think now of the boy who came to your Bible class? The phone went quiet for a while. And then Arthur said, I'm proud of him. I cried on air. On the surface, 
Arthur and Margaret appeared to have very little going for them. Yet the Tovies were rich indeed, and they used what little they had to change the lives of others. If it were not for Arthur, my wife Diane and I wouldn't have gone on the road 30 years ago with our first Marriage Matters seminar, talking to others about marriage and parenting. All the incredible work of our team at Care for the Family would, wouldn't have happened. The initiatives we've had the privilege of setting up and the difference that these have made in the lives of so many people, I believe that in so many ways, Arthur Toby began it all.